Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and I do videos to help people with their mental health. Today's video is about signs your relationship is going too fast, especially if you are in a new relationship or just getting to know someone. And so this video is about how to navigate the beginning of, of dating, essentially. So, um, just FYI, relationships take time to develop. All that stuff, the trust, the affection, the love that you get in a relationship, the honesty, um, whatever you want in the relationship, it takes time to develop, um, just like friends do. You can't just randomly, well you can essentially go up and make a friend, but to actually trust them and to actually know that they have your corner um, and for them to also trust you, it takes time for that to develop. And so your goal is to create a foundation, a firm foundation in which that your relationship will, will stand. You don't want a shaky foundation because if you build it up, you know, in a day, um, it's more than likely going to fall down. So, um, this video is about how to, um, identify this and why. Um, so basically, um, let's say you meet a guy and he just goes way too soon, too fast. Um, I did have a video about love bombing. So if you want to, it's kind of related a little bit because love bombing kind of does take it to the excessive. And when it does, it goes too soon, too fast. Um, but yeah, so this video... Um, so how do you know? How do you know the relationship is going too fast? So it's, it's subjective. It's based on your own personal kind of flow. So if you feel like, listen to your gut, if you feel like it's going too fast and it's overwhelming for you, um, then it is. So listen to your gut. Um, and also like this idea of the partner wants you to commit too soon. I have actually had partners want me to commit to that like way too soon. Like for example, within a week or sooner. Um, I've also had people text me and fall in love with me within in 10 minutes. And it's just, again, it's a form of commitment. And commitment doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a week, not even in a month essentially. Um, but again, it's based on your own personal preference. Um, but if it feels too soon for you, then it probably is. Um, if it's, um, if it feels like it's forcing you in a direction, cause it's, it, it's meant to be slow, you know, to be able to gain that foundation. Um, so you kind of feel like kayak, kayak, oh, sorry, chaotic, um, bombarded, overwhelmed. Um, you feel like it's just the timelines too fast. Um, also this idea of not giving you enough space, um, where it's just overwhelming, it's too much too soon. Um, so like, um, maybe the relationship is growing at a very, very fast pace. Um, I've actually had a relationship literally go from like almost nothing within one day to two, to all of a sudden three days later, it was like this full bloom, deep, way too deep relationship. And again, it makes for a very shaky foundation and um, that will eventually, if it's a building on that foundation, it's going to fall. Um, so giving you space. Um, also this idea, again, with the deepness, sharing too much, too soon, too fast. Again, you cannot trust the other person if, they, if, if it goes too fast. I mean, it takes time to develop. Um, Another thing is with the space is the 24 seven idea. Like it's just, again, you feel like you have too much, like maybe texting. Um, I've actually had guys text me almost 24 seven and phone calls that lasted way too long. And, and again, this is a learning experience that I had to learn, but boundaries, boundaries are very important. Um, it's self-respect and self-loving um you know it's just too much so um also mapping out the future so again too soon too fast um if they're mapping out the future they're saying i'm going to marry you within two days um 
or they're thinking about things that they could do with you and that is fine to a point but if it's even more um, and if it's over excessive then it's just too much too soon and that's again that's how you know so why is this all bad again going back to the foundation so again trust takes time um, it becomes unstable um, it can be addicting again it gives you this kind of love high um, this fantasy world and when you have this fantasy world you cannot think logically and your goal is to think logically you want to see um, you don't want to be in that black and white thinking of he's only the best thing in the world or she's only the best thing in the world because you're in this love kind of fantasy your dopamine's up high everything's up your chemicals your love chemicals are up um, and so when you are in this world you you can't see them for who they really are you can't see whether this person is a, a good match for you or not um, and you really and it's better to be more in that stable kind of ground with logic yes falling in love is great but if you're too high you can't notice their flaws um, and you want to notice their flaws as well as their good aspects and you want to make a decision of whether that person is right or not for you whether you can trust them um, and again it takes time to build that I can't emphasize enough and it also rec it also like if you allow it to go too soon too fast it also shows about your own self-worth and your own desperation your own insecurities um, it's self-love it's self-respect you know to be able to take it slowly um, to be able to like almost interview that person through time rather than in a moment I'm going to fall in love with you um, and it's again it's showing your standards whether you have low standards or high standards and so the guy that you often meet if they're like that they're also seeing your standards maybe unconsciously um, but it sets up a relationship that might be doomed to fail maybe not but might um, so um, so what can you do um, you can recognize that you're doing this if you are the love bomber or the person who moves too soon too fast you can recognize your own insecurities like ask yourself why am I doing this um, why am I am I anxious am I afraid to lose my partner am I afraid I'll never find love again um, what what's your reason um, do I not love myself and I need to get love from another person uh, do for girls or guys that are accepting this ask yourself again why why am I allowing this to happen why am I continually getting into these types of relationships you know am I am I again do I feel insecure just like the partner maybe do I feel desperate do I feel um, I'm un unloved unless I have this love receiving um, like ask yourself what is it um, do you need more more self-love for yourself do you need more boundaries um, and when you ask yourself and you work on yourself and you gain these for yourself you will choose better guys or girls if you're whatever whoever you're dating um, and um, and also you'll you'll know what you do and don't want and you'll know how to take it more slowly or if you're on the receiving end of that you can tell the other partner and be like no this is not okay and give boundaries um, which shows, shows self-respect and then the other partner if they are willing and capable and able they will follow your lead now if they're not they'll leave so um, and and also recognize that um, the one guy or girl whoever you're trying to date that could be the one well there's more people out there and um, and if someone is unavailable if someone is um, is insecure and could leave you um, that's also then know that you don't have to be with that partner you can choose to be with a partner that's available you can choose to be with a partner that will not leave you that's willing to commit that's willing to give you space that's willing to take time to get to know you before they commit so um, I know that's a hard pill to swallow but um, yeah so 
anyway I hope this helped and um, I hope to do more videos kind of like this um, and um, yeah I hope this helped if it helped please share please like and subscribe subscribe thank you